Hello everybody, here's a bulb that you don't see too often here in America. This is a European bulb, and I found this at a local restore. They had about 12 of them, brand new in their packages here. The packages were in various states of being um, in not the best of condition, but I decided to pick one of them up to share with all of you. And I have a, well, this is my second European bulb in my collection. I have a Tungsrim, uh, I think it's a 60 watt with a bayonet cap on it, but I don't have that here, that's back home. But that was my first um, overseas bulb in my collection, and here is my second. Now, the thing that I could tell right away that this was definitely not an American bulb was the style of the packaging. This style is what they used over there. Maybe they still use it, I'm not too sure, but this is definitely a European style package, so it definitely caught my eye right away. Now, the interesting thing about these is that they have a different base on them than what is used here in America. So, we'll start off with the front of the packaging here. This one is a classic, it's 25 watt. It has an E14 base. It's 230 volt, obviously. On the side here we have what appears to be a bunch of different languages. Some same stuff as the front energy ratings that they put on their products. And we're pretty much done looking at the package. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here's the bulb itself. So, pretty typical filament design for a European bulb, at least from what I have seen on the internet of all places. And we do have a simple etch, G, 230 volt, 25 watt. Hungry, and I'm guessing the K2 was some type of a date code. And here's the base. Now it kind of looks like a candelabra base, kind of looks intermediate, but it's actually their own. It's the E14. I'm not too sure what they uh, call it over there. But here's a comparison with the American small version. This is a candelabra base, same thing that we use over here for nightlight bulbs and chandeliers. But you can see the um, the differences, the European is obviously bigger, so it wouldn't fit in any of our sockets over here. And there's another comparison for you as well. So a pretty cool bulb. Now naturally you'd think, well I have no way of using this thing because I don't have an adapter that would work with this here in America. You'd be wrong. You may remember I did a video on these things many years ago now. These are carnival ride lights used at fairs and things like that. Interestingly enough, these use that base. There it is. Now I'm not sure why they decided on using this E14 base, but it's the same thing. So we definitely can try it out. Now I'm gonna take the whole assembly apart here so that we get just the adapter itself. I think I have just one of these back home. I didn't bring it with me. So we'll use this. We'll get rid of our American version here. Now here's just an example. I'll take this out so you can see what the intermediate base is like. And that's intermediate. And there is theirs. And it's not much of a difference you can see with that. But if I put this in here, you can see it obviously doesn't fit at all, and it doesn't fit in our candelabra. So let's put in this adapter, which will allow us to demonstrate it. I might pick up more of these the next time I go there, because it's just so neat to find overseas European bulbs here. And let's turn it on. There we go. Now obviously it's not going to be as bright as it would be on their 230 volts, because here we have 120 volts. So it's going to be about half of its brightness. But it's a really pleasant light. Um, running it at half of its voltage will make it last an incredibly long time. So it could definitely be used as some type of an accent light if you had, well, these adapters. But other than that, it's just really cool to find something like this over here. Yeah, it's about as bright as a, 
Well, four watt nightlight bulb, I'd say. Let's turn it off though, and I'll demonstrate. It's not that warm at all. I'll demonstrate the bulb that's typically used within these things. And there you go. These are, I think, like 11 or 13 watts or something weird like that. Maybe 10. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. But anyway, pretty cool. And I have a video of these on my channel. I think I called them like carnival lights or something like that. I'll have to make another video of them because I'm using them in a lamp that I have here that I brought with me. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this relatively long video on this European GE Clear 25 watt incandescent bulb. A nice addition to the collection. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.